Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're going to be taking a first look at a new game which just came out today, actually, I think it was. Was it today or was it yesterday? I think it was today. Uh, called Yes, Your Grace. It is a role-playing game that allows you to be the king of a fictional country in sort of a medieval sort of... I think there's sort of a... Uh, sort of a I don't know if sci-fi is the right word. Fantasy sort of a component to this game. But a bench, event, but as essentially every week people bring uh, sort of petitioners to you as the king and you have to rule on them uh, and reign the kingdom uh, effectively. Uh, not necessarily justly, I suppose, but effectively. Now, this is my first look at this game. Uh, it just came out, uh, as I said the other day. Uh, the game is developed by Brave at Night. That's the developer. And the publisher is No More Robots. Uh, so it's kind of an indie-type game, uh, I believe. It's not a big, big publisher or developer or anything like that. Um, and I'm really curious to see how it plays. So let's go ahead and jump in and uh, see how, how this game works. Yes, Your Grace is a game of tough choices. It will be impossible to satisfy the needs of every petitioner. Sometimes your subjects will have spiteful intentions, and sometimes life will get in the way. If you simply have enough resources at the end of each week, that is good enough. Okay. Hey, it's me. I'm the king, I think. Click on the petitioner to call them forward. Okay. Audrey. Oh, yeah. It is time, your grace. Okay. Click on the throne to step down. Yeah, boy. I better put on the crown? Okay. my options. Wear it. I shall put on the crown. You can leave any room by walking to the edges of the screen or by selecting the doors. Okay. Why would I leave though? This is a map of your castle. Click on the castle wall. Okay. So there's a little bit of a tutorial here. A deserter found one of ours hiding in a shed. Why would you do this, Sobak? There's too many of them. We have no chance of winning. If you let them, if you let them off, the rest may follow. Okay, so there's apparently bad guys. Our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands and able to hold a sword, Your Grace. Even the best brave soldiers are essential now. Even the least brave soldiers are essential now. There's no place for cowards underneath my banner. So, apparently... Well, that's weird. This may not make... Well, so I think part of the problem from a streaming perspective, guys, is only half of my screen is currently... displayed. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why the, the image is only showing up in the top half of my screen at the moment. I can put my cursor down here, but there's only, like, whatever. That's just the way the game is uh, is set up, though. It may make for difficult viewing on smaller screens, though, I suppose. Uh, if anybody else is having any issues, let me know. Um, even the lace brave soldiers are essential now. There's no place for cowards under my banner. I can't tolerate desertion, guys. We have to kill anybody who's a deserter. Anyone who refuses to stand for Davern will be met with justice. Wow! I just stabbed the dude! Ah! <laughs> that was fast. You did, but you had to, my grace. Okay. Okay, now we get the full screen. Put up the white flag. Can I surrender already? Ha! Huh? There's bad guys all outside the walls. What are we gonna do? I could just surrender after stabbing the guy. <laughs> that would be ironic. Um, I guess we'll say, Sons of Davon! My brothers! We stood together through the worst of times. We have proved our strength in many battles. And today we will prove it again. 
My bravest men, I bid you to fight for your all you hold dear. For Davern! Getting very Lord of the Ringsy kind of vibes here. Off go the archers! Oh, that was just a little intro thingy. Haven't married my daughters off, Tortuga. Not yet, anyway. One year earlier. Three, two, one. Okay, here I come. You found me. Well done, father. Come now, Lorizia. It's not often that we can do this. I don't want to play. <laughs> what? Okay, so this is my wife. This is my daughter. And I don't know who Ashley Ashley is. Shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She has to ruin everything. She's so proud she couldn't even find a place to hide. <laughs> okay. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Or wait, you can't write. Oh! Ouch! Hey, Baldwin RUI, thank you very much for the follow. Cthulhu, who's cool too, thank you for the follow as well. And Zubrin Alpha. Okay, so I'm assuming these are my daughters who are being stupid. Okay. She's a dumpling. Wait, do I have three daughters? All right, playing hide and seek with our daughter, I guess. Granovo, week one. The petitioners will start queuing in in a moment, Your Grace. We really need to shorten the visiting hours. So I can click on archives, main entries, people needs, family. Lorsulia, the oldest of Eric's daughters. Uh, smart, polite, and learns quickly from her mistakes. She is 13. Celia is the middle daughter and adventurous and playful and doesn't care what others think about her. Sedaini, the youngest daughter, observes her sisters and learns quickly, often mimicking their actions. And Arulia is the queen of Davern, Eric's wife uh, and mother of the three daughters. She is always happy to advise the king on important matters. So it is week one. We have uh, a group of petitioners coming forward here. Can you go and speak to Louisa, my dear? I've tried talking to her, but she won't respond. I don't know what's gotten into her recently. Maybe she will open up a bit more to you. She's probably wandering about at the wall. Okay, that was easy enough. We've got a guard coming forward. Bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry has collapsed, as well as some of our walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We should really fix these things before they get worse. Otherwise, we'll keep losing supplies. You will see the required fixes in your weekly summary at the end of the week. When you met with people and talked to petitioners, your advice makes a note about the encounter in your archives. You can see all the entries by clicking the archives button below. So that's, I already did that. We can see flood damage here. The rainy weather damaged our pantry roof and dungeons. We should repair the dungeons when possible. Or damages when possible. I don't know how to do that, but I'm guessing it will prompt me. Your grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congratulations. The problem is we don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. What will my daughter-in-law think of our family? We want to hire a band and buy some of that fancy wine on the market. We would only need five gold and five supply. You have my blessing, but I won't help. Or I can give them five gold and five supply. Um... Yeah. I want to be a nice guy and give you golden supply, but I also don't really want to. Like, I want to be a little stingy. I guess we'll start things out generous. You can't have a music without some kind of... Okay, so I don't know what the this symbol represents down there. 
Oh, the thirst is the worst. We will show these peasants what a real feast looks like. Well, you are a peasant. What are you talking like that for? Completed entries, help with the wedding. Okay, what's this peasant want? I come representing my village. We want to ask you for seven gold to help us gather tools and resources to build an inn. We could really use a new place to rest after a long day's work. Sure, we'll give you stuff too. My subjects will love me. <laughs> he sounded so excited. What's this entry say? New inn for the village. Peasant asked for gold to build a new inn for the village. The king decided to support the village with gold. Another peasant is coming forward. Monsters! Beasts dressed in black. They came in the night. Unseen, unheard until they arrived. They attacked the village. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. Your grace, I beg you, you must send your men to check what has happened. Find those responsible. Tell me more. Bright red heads, short but sharp fangs. Hundreds of them. Gleaming metal for their claws. We've never seen anything like this. Tell me more. Oh, well, you already told me that. I guess I don't have a choice. I have to send my agent, because that's the only other option. The general should deal with these bandits easily. I don't know what 1W means. Click on the glowing flower to advance to the next week once you're ready. Sometimes you'll need to see your family members before you can advance. Okay, so main entry is the monster. We've sent a general to see if he can find anything. Well, okay. Don't I have to, like, go see my daughter who's on the wall or something? Blue icons indicate important matters to attend. Green show optional conversations. Let's go to the gardens. Let's see what's up in the gardens. Cecilia, my daughter. Can you explain the fight in the gardens? Why is Larissa such a big baby? She's annoying. <laughs> I can't make you like her. You need to stop fighting with each other. Insulting your sister won't make the situation better. She will just get more resentful as time goes by. It's so hard. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, probably. All right, let's go to the castle wall. Hey, this is the wall where all the archers were before. Kicknick, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, it's you. You need to stop fighting with your sister. Why don't you want to play with us? So Vasilia has been pretty nasty recently. Why won't you talk to me? Everything is fine. Don't you have other things to do? Whoa! Oh, I totally thought I was going to push the cat off the edge of the wall. Can I do that? No? Okay. Let's go to the dungeon. This is worse than I thought. The recent downpours have damaged a lot of the buildings, Your Grace. While we still have space for prisoners, we should focus on buildings that need more attention. I've had a scribe write a list of the things that need to be fixed. You'll see this in your weekly summary, Your Grace. It's going to be costly. Great. Why are you here again? 
Uh, I bumped into the innkeeper on the streets and he stepped on my toe. How dare you tell such households. He ordered a gallon of beer, drank it all by himself, and didn't even have the gold to pay for it. I know the innkeeper. He was pretty upset. Oh, I think I remember. I just let this guy out. I'm giving money away. I'm letting people out of prison. I am just brilliant. I am the greatest king to ever rule. People will love me. Let's go check these mushrooms out. It's quite pretty, though. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Barrels are empty. They used to store our wine. Does that mean we're low on wine? Alright, I guess we'll go back to the throne room and end our turn. I did start by stabbing someone super in. Yes, but he deserved it. He was a he was a traitor. Listen, I am listening to Horatio Hornblower, uh, the, the books on Audible, and I think that I am brilliant. We have to control four resources to keep our kingdom running smoothly. Gold, supplies, army, and contentment. So this is gold, this is supplies, this is our army, and this is contentment. So we've done well on contentment, I think. We need to distribute the gold and supplies to our petitioners. If they are happy, their contentment will grow. A strong kingdom needs a big army. To gain more soldiers for our army, we will need to make alliances with neighboring lords and kings. We can gain resources through taxes as well as from the alliances we make with the lords. Villagers in our domain pay taxes. Happy people will pay their taxes gladly, while the resentful will do what they can to get around them, resulting in less income for us. This is why we need to make sure people's contentment is high in order to keep good gold flow. Some might come with malicious intent, so you should carefully consider who is truly in need. That is all for now. How do I end the turn again? I don't remember what it said to do. A flower. Sweet! This is your weekly summary screen. Here you will be able to see the kingdom's weekly income and expenses. You can buy upgrades, fixes for the castle in the left section. To buy an upgrade, simply click the button with an upgrade, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, taxes, uh, 11 gold, 8 uh, wheat, I guess. We gave nine gold to Stan the General. We gave five wheat to fix, or lost five wheat to the Broken Pantry Roof. Broken Theater is a negative one, uh, from Contentment. So, we currently have tw 20 gold, 18 wheat, and 100 soldiers, and 17, uh, Contentment. So, we can go with 12 gold to fix the Pantry Roof, which I think is important. Uh, that's costing us food. And then we can also fix the market stall. And I think we're going to have to wait. Can we repair the gold? We can. But that leaves us with no gold left after week one. Our theater, our market stall, and our pantry will all be fixed, though. So we'll do that. Now I'll have no gold for anybody coming next week. Presumably, unless we get more income. Nope, no gold. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Everyone's going to hate me. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, General, what do you want? No sign of the monsters. We did stumble upon these bandits, though, and they were pillaging the village. Red head, sharp teeth. A crest of Radovia. I thought you could only find them in the books and old manuscripts. What? Seems like we have one right here. So, the oh, these guys are bad guys. Whose banner are you bearing? Your man is right. Redovia is my home. And yours soon. Ha ha ha. Why are you here? One might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Who's your leader? We are free people. We don't bow to the kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. 
bold and stupid. I have heard enough. So, we have some options with these folks. We can execute him, we can throw him in the dungeon, or no my mercy. Hmm. What shall we do? He may be useful alive. So throw him in the dungeon, or let him go. Or he could be a problem. I'm wondering though, so we kill him. Obviously then that's the end of it. Maybe if we know if he knows our mercy, he will go back to his people and he will say that we are a good and just and fair king. On the flip side, throwing him in the dungeon could leave him useful. But I did start my game with murdering a soldier. He's probably a leader. Kill him! <laughs> My brothers will hear about this, and you will feel their poisonous bite. Why do I need to see my wife about it? How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? I'm just puzzled. Might be reasonable to start thinking about ruining some old treaties. Talk to old friends, see who could give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. Dilly dilly! Oh shit. The Bank de Florentine, your grace. I hear that your treasury has seen better times, but I am here to help! Okay. How does this work? We understand that sometimes it is hard to be a king, and we want to do our best to help. We offer quick and easy solutions to give you a surge of gold or supplies, whichever you may be in need of. Our exclusive package ex offers 50 gold or supplies, instantly available for use. The bank only adds a small fee of 10 gold or supplies, depending on the type of loan. It's paid off in a weekly amounts of 10, until you pay off your debt, your grace. We won't charge you anything at an additional cost. Last note, we only do one type of loan, or do one loan at a time. So if you want to borrow gold, we can't lend you supplies until the first loan is repaid, and vice versa. Remember, the first loan is free of charge. You just pay it back what you take. Okay, I guess I'll take the gold. Debt is always good for a kingdom, right? Yeah, I'll take it. It's a student loan. <laughs> well, there's no charge, they say, so... I mean, we just have to pay the 50 back. That's it. That's all I got for you, banker. Always happy to help. Hey, look, our daughter's back. What does she want? She snuck out in the night last week. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber, all laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she'd been, but Sedini thinks she has spilled everything to me in the morning. Those two chit-chat all the time. They think I don't realize. Thick. Don't speak ill of your sister. What's got into you, Lorcelia? As Salia sneaks out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden? I'd better talk to Acelia about this. You girls are going to drive me mad one day. That was an interesting uh, reaction from the king, I guess. All right, peasant, what do you want? My dear son is nowhere to be found. Yes, a little bit daft boy, but still he's my son. I ask you to help find him, your grace. Is there a chance you could do so? All we can offer is seven gold. I will ask my general to try and find your son. Um, so the general will take two weeks to find the son. Or I can give him seven gold. Nope. I can pay you. I've scraped together one piece of gold. Uh... Seriously? Alright, I'll send the general to help. I'm sure the general will be needed for something else. Oh, 
someone has kidnapped my daughter and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. The thing is, I track them down and I know where they're keeping her. I planned everything out. I just need your general to help me take her back. Or I could pay the ransom. Either way, I need your help, Grace. Uh, do I have a general still? Oh no, I don't have enough generals! Can't I just promote a new general? Uh, fuck. Uh, sorry, I helped a peasant before I helped a lord. <laughs> oh, that might be foreshadowing. Keep your daughter safe, your grace. I will remember this. Oh my god, that's a threat. Kick, cut his head off now! Your Grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. What's going on? I think someone is following me and they want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything right. I better be going. Okay. So, entries. Lost beloved son. The peasant offered gold, but the king refused it and sent the general. Anyway, paranoid lord. The lord visited the castle and mentioned something about fearing for his life, but he never gave any details. He left in a hurry. Uh, what's Divine Intervention? Okay. Lord Eaton has visited our halls of the serious matter. His daughter was kidnapped by bandits. The current situation in the kingdom forced Eric to decline helping the Lord. That was probably dumb. But let's exit the, uh... The hall. How do I exit? All right, we've got some conversations to be had. Let us go to the bedchamber. Ooh, is this going to get raunchy? Darling, foreign barbarians visited us this week. It might, wait, what promise do we have? 13 years ago, we promised our unborn child's hand to a thug. Baron, wasn't it? Doesn't matter. After 13 years, a Rodovian shows up in our castle? I'll be damned! Yes, Lorcelia will soon become a woman, and we will need to find her a husband. And Barian, the villain, will all arrive to make me fulfill my promise. Wait, did we earn the throne by support from barbarians? How could we have promised our daughter's hand to a Rodovian? With a knife to my throat, I'm not sure what else we could have done. To think our daughter will marry some barbaric thug, though. We can't let this happen, Eric. What about the witch? I don't even want to think about this. Let's just hope the curse is nothing but a hoax and see how things with the thug war turns out. If Barian shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. We just need to play stupid. At least she shows up with an army. How could a commoner afford an army? Even we can't. How could Rodovians get to Davian? Anything seems possible at this stage. You did send the bandit to the dungeons? No, I let him see justice. Damn it, you should have questioned him first! Ha! <laughs> marry a prince, a lord even, yes, but let her marry a thug? We can't do this. Is there anything in here worth taking? All right, everybody. This is going to be as good of a spot to stop as any. We're just a couple of weeks into the game. We've just uncovered a major plot point uh, that our daughter was sort of agreed to be sold off to barbarians uh, in some sort of marriage agreement. Um, we have some family drama going on. We're really just getting into the swing of things. Uh, this is a really interesting looking game that I'm enjoying quite a bit. Uh, but I think, uh, as I said, we'll go ahead and wrap this thing up here. This is taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel. Uh, so this was very much our first look. It was the very beginning of my playthrough. I had not played this game at all until playing through this. So it's a little bit of learning, but it's actually pretty easy to pick up and play so far. So it's been pretty enjoyable in that sense. With that being said, until next time, this is the Historical Gamer once again saying thank you very much for watching. And until next time, 
I'm out.